Hello YouTube, this uh Jedi 2005 here. I forgot how to start the video with a review of these SH figure arts battle droid, right from the Star Wars prequels. Roger Roger. Uh I had to do that at some point. I figured we get it out of the way early and just move on. Um so this this is the battle droid used by the Trade Federation and the Separatists, right? We see them fighting uh these tin heads all the time. Uh, standard model, right? So just like the other uh, figure packagings, uh, the clear front Star Wars right there, Battle Droid, Battle Droid in Japanese. Um, name on the top, and then the size, the same Star Wars pattern the others had. There he is, Disney's logo right down here. Um, and then look, you can fold him up. That's awesome. He can sit on the floor and be confused. <laughs> He can be pushed over with the Force via Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, we'll see him in a few uh, few videos from now. And you can change out his antenna so that they are raised. All right, he's receiving communications. So that's cool. Let's take him out the box. What we see is basically he comes with himself this blaster rifle that's a lot like the ones the Stormtroopers have. And the raised antenna. Alright, so let's open all right, so <laughs> I love this guy already. I don't know why. I think these things are adorable. So here is that familiar head we saw with Episode One, right? The the whole groups of battle droids, you know, lifting their heads, clicking them into place, and getting ready to shoot a bunch of helpless gungans. Who doesn't love shooting a bunch of helpless gungans? Am I right? Uh, no, seriously, I, I I don't hate them as much as everyone else does. Um. So here he is. He's very thin frame. He's actually making me really nervous because I am terrified to break him because of how thin he is. Um, because of the nature of him, there's no additional hands or anything like that. Um, his head does move sort of a little bit, right? Uh, kind of like battle droids are able to do slightly back and forth. Um, he can move it down because you can curl him up, like I said at the beginning. Um, his arms move up, down, out. There is an elbow joint. There is a wrist joint. Fingers move open and closed to hold his gun. Um, waist joint right here. Right. Uh, leg joints up and back. Not really out, right? But they do have a knee bend. And then the foot, the ankle bend, right? So he can um, be folded up, as we showed. Right. He... Uh, Right into the. Um, I forgot the the, the toes point when he's folded up, or no, he's just he's just uh, he's just like this. Okay, I always forget that part. Um, so his head's down, right? They're all curled up in a little ball, right? And then they click click, and you you hear a lot of metal noises. Oh god, the piece came off, popped off. We gotta fix that. Uh, and then, Roger, Roger. Yeah, we did it again. Don't judge me. All right. There we go. Got his fingers back on. So, okay, let's stand him up. All right. Let's swap the antenna, right? So here, in a little even smaller plastic piece, is his antenna, right? The raised antenna. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this piece out like that. And we're just going to slide this one in. So let's line it up properly because that's always important. right? And now the antennas are up. He's receiving orders from Viceroy Gunray and the Separatists. Or, you know, anyone else. The Joy Control Ship, Count Dooku, General Grievous... I don't know, Darth Sidious, maybe, I don't know, anybody in that whole little faction there, right? So we, we're going to put them back down just because uh, we can. And I'm going to give him the gun, and we're going to see exactly how to make him stand and hold the weapon properly, because as you can see, he is floundering about as battle droids are wont to do.
Okay, here's the blaster rifle. Okay, so what we're going to do is the fingers, right, they all open and curl around like this. So we're just going to kind of put it in his hand and fold his hand up and just kind of make him hold it if we can do that properly. Right, and see, this is why, this is why they lost the war because they had these droids, and they they're not really the best at holding things. Right, they they look menacing, but uh, not so much. Right, so here we got him. He's walking. He's marching. He's attempting to hold the gun while not falling over. Okay. We'll face him that way. Uh, I, I do like him just simply because, like I said, I, I love the battle droids. I am not one of those people who heals around hating on the prequels, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. Um, suck it, Fives fans. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, it, he's cool. He's a great figure to have. It's They're not that expensive um, so that if you wanted to buy several of them, uh, you can. Um, which is always good because there are a lot of people that like to do that kind of thing. And uh, with these guys, it's kind of recommended. But uh, even individually, just like this, like I bought the one. Um, it's real nice. Uh, he, he is kind of sturdy, but, you know, as, as a figure, it's, uh, but he's still thin. I'd be careful uh, moving him around because uh, I do worry that he could break. Uh, but figure out, he's generally pretty sturdy, so... Uh, yeah, I like him. The next video we're going to do is Clone Trooper, right? The guy he fights. So, be on the lookout for that. And until next time, check out the podcast, RiseRangersAndRambles.com, bring you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.